All right, today I'll be showing you how to fix error, no such partition. Now, this error only occurs on computers with legacy BIOSes, and it happens when you install Linux on a dual boot with Windows and you don't remove it properly. Basically, what happens is when you go to install Linux on a dual boot with Windows, it'll overwrite the Windows bootloader with its bootloader, so that way you can show you that grub menu for selecting Linux or Windows. Now, when you just simply delete your Linux partition, that confuses your system because it can no longer get all the files necessary to show that boot menu. And rather than booting into Windows, it'll just give you error, no such partition. But without further ado, let's get right into it. All right, so now you're staring at the error no such partition screen, and you just get this command line, and you can't get past that. So what you need to do now is plug in your Windows installation media. Now you will need Windows installation media to fix this error. If you don't have Windows installation media, you're gonna have to run Microsoft's media creation tool on another computer to make Windows installation media. It's available from Microsoft's website, and I'll have the link to that in the description. Now if you don't have another computer that you can use to do this, that's okay, just borrow one from a friend, a family member, or even order recovery media from your computer's manufacturer, or something like that. But anyway, you're gonna connect your Windows installation media and then reboot your system, and then press your boot menu key. Now, if you don't know what your boot menu key is, you can just look up your computer's model and then boot menu key, or in the case of a custom build, your motherboard's manufacturer and then boot menu key. But anyway, once you're in the boot menu, you're gonna boot from your Windows installation media and then press any key. All right, then once you've booted into your Windows installation, media. It'll bring you to this screen. What you're going to do here is select your language and keyboard layout if necessary, then click next. And then rather than clicking install now, you're going to click repair your computer. And then it should bring you to this screen. Now click troubleshoot, command prompt, and now it'll bring you into this command prompt here. I'm going to maximize that for you. Now you're going to type boot rec space slash fix mbr, then hit enter. And then it should say this operation completed successfully. Then you're going to type boot rec space slash fix boot, then hit enter. And if it says access is denied, don't worry about it. And then you're going to type boot rec space slash scan OS, then hit enter. Now this might take a while, so please be patient. Now it should say successfully scanned Windows installations. And now you're going to type boot rec space slash rebuild bcd, then hit enter. Now this is another command that may take a while, so be patient. It didn't take that long for me, as you can see. And now what you're going to do is close out of this, then click continue. And if all went well, it should boot directly into your Windows installation. And that is how you fix error, no such partition. And if you do decide to install Linux on a dual boot configuration again, and you want to remove it, make sure to do it properly. But anyways, thanks for watching. If you liked this video, found it was helpful, hit the like button, share this video with your friends, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment.